Christians are like everybody else. When something like this happens, we really we feel it, and uh, we feel the pain, and we feel the compassion that everybody feels, and mm -hmm. we can express ourselves through our music, um, and there are other ways of expressing ourselves that are very important, very valid. Uh, but the Sawagi benefit is a way of providing concrete aid, of reaching out in a very meaningful way, uh, giving something that's very important at this moment. Um, and I really appreciate being able to do that, because when the, when the uh, disaster struck, um, there's a feeling of helplessness, I think, that we all feel. You know, we always all want to do something to make it better. Yeah. Yeah. We all want to help, we all want to reach out, but it's hard to know what to do. Uh, there's also the sense that uh, you know, we, we can't fix it. We're not going to fix it by having this benefit concert. But we can reach out and do what we can to help people um, in a meaningful way, even if it's just a little way compared to the magnitude of the devastation. So this is why I wanted to do this. And I wanted to do it at Naropa because uh, Naropa's mission is really to demonstrate uh, and explore the fact of life that is uh, our interconnectedness with other people. That's mm. part of our, that's probably the main element of Naropa's mission. We're, we're here together, we're in this together, and it may seem like Japan um, is a long way away, but in fact, um, all of us have traveled there, well, we have friends there, we have family there, we're, we're undeniably connected, and by sending water from the Rocky Mountains to Japan, we're making that connection real. Um, and I think it's a perfect thing for Naropa University to be involved in because of that sense of connectedness.